do energy update. So here we are. It is the week of June 4th to June 10th and we've had a Sagittarius full moon that's been in effect and we've been feeling a lot of the energies on the planet. And one of the biggest things that's been happening is as this higher dimensional energy is coming in, we're starting to feel this in our body and we're starting to actually move a lot of the low vibrational energy that's been in our field. We're starting to let go of some of that frequency that doesn't serve us anymore. So for a lot of people, the dark is coming to light. A lot of the frequencies have been coming to light. We had a call that we did yesterday, last night, with some of our Platinum Group members and there was a lot of talk for those people in a lot of heavy spaces of how do I deal with the energy? There was a themes of you know wanting to move out of this heavy energy a lot. And we're seeing this again and again through the community, through the world. There's a lot of news stories breaking and people actually deciding that the only way to leave this planet is to actually, or to leave these heavy energies, is actually to leave their body. And I'm talking about stories of people unfortunately committing suicide. And this is uh, not something that's necessary. We don't need to do this. We just have to plug into the higher frequencies. We had a situation with Kate Spade, who's a fashion designer, Anthony Bourdain, who's host of a CNN food show, but there are also millions of people during the year and so many all over the world who deal with these sorts of energetic challenges and who choose that path. It's happening every single day. And so what's coming to me from Spirit today is to give you an energy update of what's going on and why this week there were a lot of dense energies and how we can move them. We're also gonna do an activation to transmute some of that energy out of your field so you can move into the weekend in peace and joy and share a little bit about what we did at You Wealth Revolution for the entire world to help lift these energies because it is not the solution. And if you are hurting or you need help, then please, you know, contact a suicide prevention hotline, connect in with trained counselors that can help you. And as you're doing that, also work in on the energetic component as well. It's very important to keep your energy fields clean and your heart open and pure. The other thing that's happening is we're getting waves of energy from the sun. We're getting frequency from the sun. This is purifying us. We're getting higher dimensional energies coming in as we travel around this Milky Way. And this is really going to be turning up the heat at the later half of this year and the second half of this year, which we're in right now. So this is all about purifying. We wanna let come up what needs to come up, what we feel as dark and as we feel as shadows. It's also all part of the divine because the divine exists in this polarity that's on both sides. Everything is creation. So we don't have to fear that. We just have to let it come up, feel the feeling and move out, do our release work and move forward. So please, if you are in a space feeling a lot of low energy, break the pattern, get out of it, plug into some of our sessions. They will also be very helpful to move that energy. And one of the things that we did really important for empaths, especially right now during this time, you're an empath if you're able to um, feel energies around you, if you have gut senses, gut instincts about things that usually are coming true, if you're around other people that maybe you know are in a place that they're going through a lot of tension or drama and you feel the heaviness and it brings your energy down. I mean, if you're going through any of that, you're an empath. And Debbie Johnson is our angel reader. She did an empathic clearing this week, calling on Archangel Michael, calling on some of the higher vibrational energies to release the stuck frequency. So take a listen to that session. It's down below. It's going to be available until Sunday at midnight at U Wealth Revolution, absolutely free. We also brought back uh, Pradeet and Julianne who are part of the Stargate experience. And when we talk about the higher dimensional energies coming in, the purification energies, coming in from the sun and from the higher realms, this is exactly what they've been doing. They've been opening up through a special device and through what's happening on the planet, a stargate that allows higher dimensional energy and frequency to come in and reach you. So they did a youth hitting activation to not only just begin to help us shift our physical vitality, but to get out of the heavy feeling of feeling pent up or bogged down by old energies that don't serve us. You know, youthening is also about being free, being energetically free to feel everything that you truly are and feeling your truth and not being bogged down. 
We also, on Wednesday, had Paul Weisbart, who, as you know, is the inventor of the amazing scalar laser devices. We did some very powerful yogic transmissions to move you out of the polarity. And this is so important right now. Whether you have a laser or not, you can begin to activate some of this very fine frequency to free yourself from the polarity. On this planet, you know, you're going to see a lot of polarity in the second half of the year. A lot of people on both sides sort of creating a lot of turmoil uh, in the third dimension. People have one opinion, people have another opinion, right? But truth is always somewhere in the middle and the divine path is always in the stillness between all of that polarity. That's where you are immortal, that's where you are timeless. That is what we connected into with Paul Weisbart. It's all new, so take a listen. And on Thursday, we had Marilyn Jeanette who came back and uh, we replayed her beautiful session, I should say, and she shared some of the ways that you can create rapid abundance in two weeks or less. And abundance doesn't necessarily have to be money, it can be new opportunities, new possibilities, situations resolving and clearing that we thought were impossible. There are certain universal laws that work every time to bring dramatic shifts into your life and into your favor. So we did that and today we have Judy Satori who's gonna be rebroadcast on the UWealth beautiful grid and she shared all new activations the last time she was on in light language to help shift your frequency and we have the amazing Melinda Lee session with the big energetic reset also happening today on the live rebroadcast line. As we are moving into a lot of these frequencies and a lot of these new energies, it's going to be really important if you're feeling heaviness to just clear, to begin to get grounded and realize that there's a part of you that is not your thoughts, it's not your fears, it's not your worries, it's not the political system, it's not the left-right system, it's not the third dimensional grid. There's a part of you that is timeless and I wanna open up for a moment this meditation activation to help you plug into that space. So if you're ready or in a place to do so, you can just take a moment, put your feet flat on the floor, and just take a big deep breath in and out. And we're just gonna center into our heart and open up this heart space. Begin to feel the frequency of pure love. Just sharing the frequency of love. All right, now we're getting an energy that wants to come in that is for self-acceptance and for divine love of self. Aka aka shokomata to so fat so azi so komata to the azuplit the azu zi komata to katasta zi komaka to katasta. Now we're breaking up any patterns of heaviness and frequency for this weekend and going forward. She komaka to kato katasta azu zakaso あ、しょまかたかそか。おたかたと。あ、かばいかばいかたかと。あ、そまかたかたかと。あ、そまかたかたかと。あ、そまかたかたかと。あ、そまかたかたかと。あ、そまかたかたかと。あ、そまかたか
stay in divine love this weekend. You plug into your divine truth and you release some of whatever it is that is not your truest self. And we've got some beautiful sessions this weekend from some truly gifted beings of light and uh, take a listen down below to each one of them if it calls to your heart. Much love. We'll see you on the next You Author Evolution session. I love you.